What's up guys, you Say here. Today we're back again with the third episode in the Gold to Grandmaster series. And today we're gonna be playing some Jarvan in the jungle. So I was actually looking to get some Jin Zhao gameplay, but unfortunately the enemies picked it right before I was able to pick it. So I thought this would be a perfect chance for a Jarvan gameplay. And I remember in one of the last videos, somebody commented that um, Jarvan had received a buff. Um, so I thought I would give it a shot as Jarvan was one of my favorite picks to play into Jin. As for champs and junglers to play into Jin, I personally prefer tankier bruisers because the thing about Jin is he really loves his burst damage, especially in the early game. And I kind of screwed up that word, but we'll ignore that. Um, he really prefers his burst in the early game. So picking squishy assassins, he's going to do pretty well against. But if you pick tankier champions, he can't really burst you down like how he's supposed to. Um, so like Jarvan, Nunu, things along those lines. And looking at the matchups in the lane right now, I'm actually just going to do a red side clear and probably go for this bot lane over here. And the reason for that is because if you look at this matchup over here, it's a Vayne and Braum versus a Lux and Jinx. That's going to be a very, very trade-heavy um, matchup. As you can see right now, they're already using summoners and everything. And the reason for that is because pretty much there's certain champions that you know are going to play aggressive because that's how their champions work. Like Lux, you play aggressive to get roots. Like um, Aurelia is another example. You have to play aggressive to make the champion work. So I'm going to look for this early gank over here. They already burned summoners. Um, you can actually do level 2 ganks with Jarvan really well, but just because you have your first and third ability. Let's see if we can get this Jin. They don't have flash, I know, so should be able to tag this. Nice, okay, okay. They got the Lux too, nice. Vayne got both the kills too, so now they'll be pretty far ahead, which is good. Let's see, we could take this camp over here. The fact that Zin hasn't ganked this top lane, um, this Darius Malphite matchup, even though they're super low, it tells me that um, Zen probably didn't do it only red side clear, because if he would have done an only red side clear, he would have already ganked that. So he probably did either a red to blue clear, or, I mean, I guess he could have done a blue to red clear, but that's pretty unlikely, I guess, as a Zen. Um, and he, he's not at the scuttle. So... Let's see, I could look for this gank over here. Actually, we'll probably just play this safe over here. That wave is too far pushed up. It's not worth even going for anything here because if I take damage, like if I take half health damage and then Zin comes and contests me, he'll just essentially one burst me. So let's see, I actually think Zin did a red to blue clear just because he hasn't shown up at either of these scuttles. So I probably got to the bottom one before he finished with this clear. So that bot side matchup should actually watch out because if Zin started with his red and he's working down towards blue side, they're for sure about to get ganked. Um, let's see. We could take this blue buff and then... F oh, he's actually over here. What the? Oh, I guess he did a blue to red clear. Interesting. Um, let's see. We can kite back to our Darius over here. We should be fine. We still have flash and everything. Oh, that's Akali's here. Oh, wait. Akali's level 5. Ooh. Wait, I gotta watch out if Akali ults me. I still have my second ability. Nice. Okay, okay. We got that. Yeah, no. I just have to keep my distance from Akali because Akali's assassinate with her ultimate could have maybe killed me there. Yeah, no, that's something to really watch out for in these small fights is who gets level 5 first, because that level 5 is huge. Let's see, bot side matchup looks pretty good. Looks like they got pretty far ahead with those first couple kills, so... That should be good. We can farm up a bit, take some camps. Be up. I mean, as you play a bit more and as you kind of understand these lane matchups, that's why it's important, especially in the jungle, to understand not only your position, position but the other positions. That way you can kind of intuitively, you'll start to understand, ah, there's an... Yeah, so... Oh, so you can get that? No. Nice. Um, Because you intuitively, you start to understand which matchups are going to be aggressive, which ones are going to look more gankable. Because there's certain matchups which I can look at, and I can tell that those champions are super, super trade-heavy, and they'll... Ooh, can I, I, can, I might be able to. I should be able to grab this Zen over here. Mm, I don't want to waste my ult if I don't have to. Nice. Okay. Um, you can kind of intuitively tell, like for instance, this mid matchup, like Ari versus Akali. Well, it's really easy for both of them to just sit back and farm, so you don't have many all ins. But with like champs like um, potentially like Renekton, and Gragas, Aurelia, Lux, um, Vayne is pretty aggressive too with her dash and everything. You can kind of tell that those um will for sure be pretty way more aggressive so i kind of know um zen's jungle clear now so he did start blue um i knew that's what i knew that this would be up um let's see if i can oh i gotta watch out over here it's a collie's right behind us but it looks like our team's actually going crazy this darius had a pretty good rotate down here nice 
Ah, oh, there's Zen. Yep, he came back for his blue buff. Nice. Okay, okay. Oh, can we get this? Oh, they messed up by going back in. If they would have just dipped out, we wouldn't have been able to crowd control him like that. That was a good rotate from Darius. I guess he had his wave pushed in, so he was able to fit that rotate in. Which is pretty good. They should be able to get that turret. I can get my entire Trinity Force now, which is perfect. And get some boots and some health and stuff. But yep, once you kind of get a hang of the jungle rotation, like once, because I knew that um, Jin started with his blue buff, so I knew as soon as my red buff respawned, his blue buff would respawn, because we both started at those camps, so they'll have the same timings. So you can kind of tell when their jungle's going to respawn. Looks like they're all down there. We can maybe actually deal some damage. Maybe we might be able to actually get this mid turret. Ah, I don't think so. It'll be close. They might be on drag. Uh, they aren't going for dragon, I guess. Yeah, they kind of overstay it over there. I might actually just go for this um, blue buff over here. I kind of wanted to look for Harold, but never mind. none of my team is around. Oh, Zin's here too. He really cannot kill me. I don't think he understands. I already have an entire trainer. Oh, well, Malphite ult? Question mark? You gotta watch out. He, he could have killed me with the Malphite. I had to dip out of there as soon as I can, because if Malphite landed ult on me, I for sure would have just been dead. Because they would have just bursted me down right away. And maybe I would have gotten Ari Charm too. Yeah, our Darius is just pushing this bot side. We should honestly just rotate towards this bot side because we have Darius down here. We could take this bot side um, dragon over here. If Darius just dips, just comes back over here. Oh, why is Darius so low? Oh, are they going to keep on chasing him? Oh my gosh. Or are they going to give up? Nice. Looks like, looks like our mid lane's putting pressure on everything, which is good. So it should be able to get this. Nice, nice. That's perfect. So yeah, if we can take some more camps, it looks like they're they're going for it, for real. Yep, I can take red buff and then look towards the other side of the map. Oh wait, why is Zinn over here? What the? That is absolutely crazy. Oh, wait, maybe I can actually win this. I have my second ability. I can maybe block off the burst. Let's see, let's see. Come on, please try it. Oh. Nice, okay, at least we traded one for one. I honestly thought I could survive that Zinn burst. Maybe if I would have used my second ability and then instantly, like, third and first ability to away, maybe then I could have survived. But, who knows, we'll try that next time. Dang. I didn't think Zen would burst me down that much. I thought I had enough health. Oh well. Sometimes you just gotta YOLO it and give it a shot. But yeah, our Darius is looking pretty fed, actually. Our Darius had that one good rotate in the bot side, they got so much gold off of that. That was good on Darius to push in his wave, and then once you get that wave pushed in, because as I was saying, there's certain matchups which you kind of have to be able to get an understanding of. So like Darius versus Malphite, if Darius pushes the wave in, he's not going to be able to do anything to Malphite, because Malphite will just sit underneath turret and just farm up or farm from range with their first ability. So that was smart of Darius to just fit in to rotate once you get that wave pushed in, because there's nothing you could do once that wave is underneath the turret. So we should be able to take this over here. Um, I'm actually just going to finish taking this before I go in for name gauge. Nice, nice. Oh, we can grab this over the wall. Oh, there's somebody else over here. Lux. Mistakes were made, bud. Nice, nice. That was good. Yeah, no, I love Jarvan for so many reasons. Oh, maybe this is Akali? Let's see, can we reach that? Oh, we didn't get the knockup, but... Maybe we can kill him. I still have my ult, but I'll hold on to that for now. Um, Something about your ult with um jarvan is your most of your damage and most of your like utility comes from your third and first ability and even your second ability gives you good shielding and everything oh can i snag this oh can i get out of here oh i should have maybe just gone over the wall i don't think i would have gotten it anyways they all just flashed after me oh dang this vein's going crazy the 1v5 question mark no <laughs> not at all yeah no it's pretty hard to 1v5 as a vein against a Lux and an Akali, because if you get rooted or you get Akali ulted, you just get deleted. Oh my gosh, now this Darius wants some like this. Let's see, what do I buy? Um, just to give some background again, um, I haven't played this game in a year, and I just started playing like a couple days ago. So, I decayed all the way down to gold, so I thought I'd make a gold back to Grandmaster um, series, because why the heck not? So, I'm still trying to learn what all the new items, rune changes, and everything is. Like, all the boots and everything got changed. There's so many new items and champions. But, we can grab this buff over here. Let's see what's up. But, yep, if y'all 
want to comment down below anything y'all want to see or anything new that you think I should check out. Um, I know some people said um, both Jarvan and Zin got buffs, so those are two champs I'll for sure be doing. That's why I was looking to play Zin. Um, I heard Wukong um, got reworked and is much worse, so unfortunately I just need to look at the specifics of that. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to do that. Tank Nautilus in the jungle too, I've heard, is pretty good now. Um, so I'll give that a shot. I like playing Nautilus support, so... Oh, what are these things, though? I've seen these things in the last couple games. We're, like, halfway through. Um, let's see if we can get that kill over there. I'll flash out so they can't chase me. Um, you know, I've seen those things wandering around the jungle after, like, a handful of minutes, like, midway through the game. Kind of just scoping it out. Be up with Jarvan. As I was saying, you get majority of the damage from your first and third ability. Um, but something that a lot of people don't expect is your ult is actually a source of burst damage. So if you need- oh wow, I kind of butchered that. Lol. Yeah, no, we won't be able to do anything there. Okay, that Ari was- that's about- that was about life, but at least we can re-engage, I guess. I don't have ult back up, but oh well. Yeah, no, you should know as an Ari that, like, Zen will probably just ult away. So you probably need to bait that out first. Oh, that's a good pull from Darius. Nice. Uh, let's see. I low-key kind of want to try and dive this. Where's the fun if you don't? If Ari is able to come up here and get... Oh, it looks like our teammates are rotating. Oh, we could for sure do this. I have my ult back up too. They just use their roots. Oh, whoa. I'll fight ult. That's tough. Oh my gosh, get me out of here. Nice, nice. That's perfect. Yep, yep. Ari had or Lux had just used their root, so they didn't have that. But I guess Malphite got ult back up. Let's see. This item that was recommended increases 150% healing. They really did not heal me very much. I don't know why that item was on the top build for this. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, 150 health percent health regen. Yeah, no, that did not regen my health very much. I just, um, again, well, there's a bunch of new items and stuff, so I'm still trying to learn them. So right now I'm looking at a lot of like the top builds and what like other people are using, and that was one of them. So... I thought I'd give it a shot, but that healing does not seem to be coming in very much. I guess it's for the other stats while they built in. Yeah, because I mean, you don't really have any healing on Jarvan for the most part. Looks like my entire team just entered. Are they going to come this way? Let's see, maybe I can pick off one of them if they walk through this bush. Oh, YOLO, let's go for it. We can get somebody in their back line. Nice, nice. Oh, there's a Lux Root. Can I track down the Zen? Oh, I need my first ability. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. There you go. See, that's what I love about Jarvan. You're so tanky, but if you, like, get ahead, you deal so much damage also. And that's also why I love um, Jarvan into Zen, because he just can't, like, if you... The thing about Zen is if you don't do well early, or at least you don't say even, if you fall behind even a little bit at all, there's no chance you're going to do anything against somebody like Jarvan or Nunu... Or, like, Nautilus, which is great. Oh, I can't that. I took that. Oh, well. I'll just buy Locket for um, team utility, I guess. I personally like building the Locket a lot, just because um, I think it makes my teammates better, I guess, because they have extra shielding. That way they could be a tad bit worse, and um, they could still survive, hopefully. Um, Gargoyle is also pretty good. I guess you can go for Stasis or something if you need. If you're, like, really good with Stasis, you can... Maybe get stasis and try and predict, like, um, Malphite ults. But that's kind of hard to do sometimes. Mm, let's see. Our team is real. They all want to go on this way. Why do they want to push mid? You aren't going to be able to end the game. Oh, I guess there's a... Oh, the little things respawn now. I forgot. The, um... Like, the Nexus Towers. Like, the crystals. Oh, let's see. This Jinx might actually be out of position. I tried to bait him by going the other way while they had vision. Oh, it's, she's in this bush. Oh, the flash. Dang. Nah, I can't chase that. I get Lux rooted and then Malphite ulted and I'm just perma CC'd. Yeah, we could push waves up for now. Looks like they're pushing bot side pretty hard. I'll just farm up their jungle, I guess, while I'm waiting. For waves to get pushed up. Uh, let's see. What is going on? But yup, yup. I'm really... 
I'm really looking forward to get back to Grandmaster. It's so many games is the only thing from gold to Grandmaster, but we'll get there eventually. Yeah, no, they just used up all their stuff. They're so dead. Oh, that damage is crazy. And I still am at like full health. Oh, I'm gonna wait for him to go over that before I go back. Nice, nice. Yeah, no, I kind of stood back for a second and waited for them to use all their like roots and ults and stuff. I really want to get this Akali. Please step up. Just one more tiny bit. Oh, dang, I missed that root. Oh, please go for that. I have my second ability. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, I have one HP. Oh my gosh. Ah! Wait, they're still going to try and go for me. Wait, please try it, try it, try it. I beg. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's a tough way to end the game <laughs> as an Akali. <laughs> um... But anyways, that's gonna be about it for this video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, comment down below, and for sure be on the lookout for more videos. Comment down below whatever y'all want to see, or if y'all think that there's anything in the past year that came out that I should really look at. But yep, yeah, that's gonna be it. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next one.